Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We are here on Marvel Spider-Man 2. If you guys are really enjoying the content, don't forget to drop a like on it, but also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. But without further ado, let's get into it. So I wanted to take a moment to talk about something in regards to Marvel Spider-Man 2 that I think a lot of people were not very happy to know about. Now for those who have played Marvel Spider-Man 2, you will know that as you get closer to the end of the story, when you start to see, when you get to that scene where pretty much half the city is under control of the symbiote, Miles ends up appearing wearing this specific suit. A lot of people were not happy to see this suit as a lot of people have looked at it and thought it was one of the ugliest suits that was created for Spider-Man. Like I can definitely see where a lot of people are coming from especially since this suit doesn't even look like it's fitting for Miles to wear. Especially since the design overall just doesn't look that great. That now I'm gonna be in the minority here when I say this but I don't think this suit is as bad as people are making it out to be. Like I will agree that there are specific things about this suit that could have used some adjusting in order to make it more appealing to the average player. Could this suit have used a couple of adjustments to make it look more appealing? Yes. But even then it's like this suit still came out to look as good as it could possibly there. look even though it's a blatant ripoff of a specific type of adidas clothing that you can actually buy in real life. But yeah, the evolved suit that we got as Miles in Marvel Spider-Man 2 is pretty much identical to the adidas type clothing that we have in real life. So I can see where people are coming from when they say that they don't really appreciate there being a walking Adidas advertisement in the game. But I do have to go out on a limb here and say that while I don't appreciate it as well, at the same time, at least PlayStation didn't have Insomniac charge us the consumer five to ten dollars for a cosmetic like the evolved suit at least we didn't have to pay any additional money to get the suit i'm just reiterating i understand people's disappointment with the evolved suit in marvel spider-man 2 as y'all believe that this suit is arguably the worst designed suit that we have gotten in Marvel Spider-Man so far. And do I believe that this suit could have used some adjustments to make it look more nicer and more appealing to the average gamer? Sure. I do believe that it could have used some refining, it could have used some tweaking here and there. At the same time, this isn't as bad as people make it out to be. And look on the bright side, at least Insomniac didn't charge us 5 to 10 additional dollars just to get this cosmetic in the game. Because think about it, if it was any other developer and publisher that had an opportunity to work with Adidas on something like this, they would have outright charged us the consumer like 5 to 10 additional dollars for a colder looking cosmetic like this one. We would have been more pissed than what we were originally when we saw this suit revealed. But thankfully this is in the hands of Insomniac as they didn't go and charge us more money just to get this specific cosmetic in the game. I'm also curious as to when we are going to get New Game Plus for Marvel Spider-Man 2. We are nearing the end of the year and we still don't have any form of update as to when we can expect New Game Plus to arrive. Some people were hoping that Insomniac would reveal some additional Spider-Man content to come back at the Game Awards, but unfortunately that was not the case. So for the time being, we still have to wait as to whether or not we're going to get New Game Plus. I also want to know when we can get that time of day feature in this game because, if I'm being honest with y'all, having to do a glitch just to change the time of day is kind of getting tiring if you ask me. Like yeah, doing the glitch isn't difficult, but at the same time, like when you're trying to take specific shots in photo mode, and when you're trying to get the lighting right, you're not able to do as much as you would hope to because the specific time of day in which you're getting a shot in, you can't really manipulate every bit of lighting that you hope that you could. You're not able to manipulate the lighting to look a specific way that you want to that way the photo can come out looking much nicer that you would like it to that's why i'm wondering when we're going to get a time of day update in this game hopefully soon but at the same time like i just want insomnia to take as much time as they need to as i'm willing to bet that putting together something like that isn't easy to do to begin with 
I think I'm going to stop it right there. I just wanted to take a moment to talk about the Evolved suit specifically, as I noticed that there is a fair amount of criticism that was given in regards to the overall design of the suit, and how it's pretty much a walking advertisement that Adidas decided to do with Insomniac and PlayStation. As I said earlier, while I do think the criticisms are valid at the same time it's not as bad as people make it out to be and on top of that if we had to look at it from the bright side at least insomniac and playstation didn't charge us more money just to get a cooler looking cosmetic in what we have here but i want to know from you guys what do you make of the evolved suit in marvel spider-man 2 do you like it do you not like it what are some of the things about the suit that you would change but also what are some of the things that you would keep of the suit but also when do you guys think we're going to get new game plus for marvel spider-man 2 especially when you consider that we are definitely nearing the end of the year and we still have yet to get any form of update in regards to that mode be implemented into the game let me know in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys have to say. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it. And if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can be notified of when I have uploaded my newest video. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. It's been your boy Discreet, and I'll catch you in the next video.